Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, whose correct names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine, throughout the four winds of the world, risking their lives and freedom to do so to you. I say shalom. You ask, I'm going to simply entitle this lesson, Finish. All right, finish your work. Finish your duty. All right, if you have been called into this truth, all right, or, or, or you've come to the, the knowledge that Most High has opened your eyes that you're an Israelite, finish his work, okay? And, and the closer and closer we get, okay, hey, you, you Jake should be more and more on fire, all right? Whether, you know, if you're a teacher, of course, teach, all right? If you're a help, hey, do what you can to help the ministry, okay? Hey, hey, be diligent in something, okay? But finish the work, all right? Because, you know, it, it's, 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 it's nothing like you getting all the way to the finish line and, and not finishing or not crossing that finish line. It's not It's not a matter of how fast you get there. Or, or, or when you get there, it's, it's a marathon, all right? You got people that run these marathons, and some of them are running them not to finish first, okay? They're just running them just to finish. Finish this. Finish this work. Finish this your, your duty, all right, as a, as a prophet, as a help of the Lord, as an Israelite, okay, that, that has woken up to the um to the fact that they're an Israelite, okay? To, to, to know the, the name of the Most High and the name of his son, all right? Because it's a lot of jakes. That's getting to the finish line and they're folding. They're giving in to the demands of the wicked. All right. They're taking the juice. They're they're complying with Esau. They're compromised uh, in, in their teachings. All right. It's so it's, it's so many jakes out there that that they were once grounded in this that, that that haven't that 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 are not finishing the work. All right. So let me um I was gonna start with something else. Let me hit this real quick, man. This is um I believe it's Luke nine. It's like yeah. Luke 9 and uh, 60, um, 62. And Yahweh Shai, excuse me, said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back, it's fit for the kingdom of the Most High, the kingdom of heaven. All right. You put your hand to this plow. You begin to do this work. Finish it. All right. This ain't, this is like, this ain't a, 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 a job in Esau's world. This is like the Apostle Tahar said a few weeks back. You working for the kingdom of the universe. All right. The creator of heaven and earth. Finish his work. Okay, you 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 you've been called, Lord willing, you're chosen. All right, and I say this to myself first and foremost, but to you know, uh, uh, I came out there that that's 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 laboring in this work. Hey, we're gonna come, we're gonna hit speed bumps. All right, we're gonna have come come on hard times, but hey, finish it. Fuck it. What do we have here? What what do we got back in the world? What are we gonna look back on and say? Oh, I wish I would have did that. Nothing, nothing in the world, nothing that you got going besides this truth is 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 really relevant. Okay. Let me um grab this in uh, Matthew 22 and um, uh, 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. You want to be chosen. All right. Hey, a lot of people are called to do this work and don't finish. All right. You want to be one of those that 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 have that 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 crown at the end. All right. That could say, yeah, you know, hey, I put it all on the line. All right, you know, I, I've done all I could for for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to, to push his doctrine, to um to uh, uh wake up the elect, to you know um to seal the elect. All right, I've done all. Hey, Yahweh Shai did it. Yahweh Shai had to work, uh, had had to do the work. He had to finish his work. All right, that was his lot. All right, to to come back and 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 be the sacrificial lamb for the uh for the uh the house of Israel for the the children of Israel, and he was that. He hey, it was written of him. All right, therefore, he had to fulfill. All right, if you're a prophet, if you're a help of the Lord, if you're written in the book of life, hey, it's your duty to, to, to finish the work. It's your lot. That's a lot you fell on. You know, hey, the Most High didn't have to open your eyes to this knowledge and wisdom and understanding and give you these mysteries, but but he did. Okay, let me grab this in um, the book of John, verse 4, chapter, excuse me, chapter 4, verse 34. And it reads, Yahweh Shai said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Finish the work. Finish. All right. Hey, that Yahweh Shai finished the work. Okay. When he gave up the ghost, he said it is finished. All right. Hey, hey, we want to be, uh, we, of course, we're not going to be on the level of Yahweh Shai, but we want to be, um, um, we want to be able to finish our duty. Okay. Hey, stay faithful. All right. Hey, 
you got you to gotta hold strong. You got to keep the faith because it's going to be a lot of temptation the closer and closer we um, get to the end of this. A lot of temptation to, to save your life. A, a lot of temptation to uh, uh, comply. All right. It's, it's going to have temptation. You're going to have uh, um, pressure from everywhere. All right. But you got to hold. You got to you got to stay faithful to the Lord. All right. Because he's going to stay faithful unto you. All right. He's going to he's a the scripture says he's a, a rewarder of them that di diligently seek him. OK. If you hey, I'm hey, I'm I'm seeking the Lord. You know, uh, what scripture says, um, seek the Lord 10 times more. All right. You got to be seeking the Lord 100 times more. Shit. All right. Let me um. Let me grab this in John uh, 19 in verse 28. This is when Yahweh Shai had said it is finished. It, all right. This is John uh, chapter 19 verses uh, verse 28. And after this, Yahweh Shai, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was, now there was sent a vessel of vinegar that was filled with, they and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put upon hyssop and put it in his mouth. When Yahawashai therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished, and bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Hey, that's when Yahawashai said, It is finished, it is accomplished. All right, well, it was written of him. All right, we, we want to be, um, at, we want to get to that point where we say it is finished. Okay, whether we on the chariots or whether you know, uh, we beamed up on those chariots, we redeemed and saved from the destruction. Or and we have to be a martyr for the for this truth, all right? For the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, that's when you can say it is finished. I've done. Hey, I ran my course. I, I've done everything that I, I needed to do to, uh, to 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 redeem the to re, to help redeem and seal the elect. I've done all I can in this ministry, and and, and you know I have no regrets. I haven't. I you know I left left it all like like they like to say on the, uh, in football. Or basketball, you leave it all out on the field. You leave it all on the, out on the court. All right, I left it all out on the field. Okay. Um, this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter nine, and verse twenty-four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And we want that prize. All right. Hey, yeah, we want the kingdom. Okay, we want the kingdom and everything that comes with the kingdom. Okay, but you gotta you gotta finish. You gotta fight. All right, you you gotta you know you gotta be diligent. All right, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown, an incorruptible crown. All right, where where is it can never be corrupted because that crown is coming from Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That 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 um that that victory is coming. You know, is 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 getting a victory over death like our Lord Yahweh Shai did. Okay, where 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 you know we'll, we'll, we'll be made clean. Our sins, will, all our sins, uh, will be forgiven. Okay, that that's 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 the that's obtaining the prize. All right, we're a hey, we're running to obtain. All right, the Apostle Paul was comparing this truth, this the this, this faith, unto um, the things during that time, like uh, um, during the time of the Romans, like um, you know, because they were you know heavy into the Olympics and that type of. The uh, the Colosseum and that type of stuff. So he compared it to the things which he saw, and he said, "So like you," he said, "Run, you know, compared it to a race." Uh, it says, "Know ye that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain." Okay, so hey, like I said, this is a this is a marathon. All right, it ain't about who finishes first or second. You just want to be able to finish, and everyone's not going to finish. Everyone's going to. Uh, 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 um, a lot of people are going to run fast and, and and die out at the end. You want to be one of those that are able to maintain throughout the whole race. And 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 when you get to that final uh, uh, hundred meters, mile, or whatever, you want to have that kick. All right, that 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 final kick to uh, uh, push push it into gear and cross that finish line. Okay, because everyone's not going to cross. That's why two thirds of our people are going to have to perish here, die here in America and other parts of the world where they dwell. Two thirds are going to be wiped out. But that one third, the hundred, one third and one hundred forty-four thousand, the elect, that remnant are, are are going to finish. All right, and every person in this walk, in this truth, has their own their their own salvation, which is specific to them. All right, they have the, everyone has a different measure of faith. But hey, you just pray to the Lord that the, the faith that the faith the measure that you were given enables you 
to finish his race and able to finish his work. Okay, I got a few more scriptures. I want to hit uh, Revelation chapter 7 and verse 13. And it reads, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. That's the elect. They came out of great tribulation. Okay, array, why are they arrayed in white robes? Because they've been made clean by the Lamb. They've been All their sins have been cleaned, have washed away. Okay, they're perfect. Okay, they came through great tribulation. They, they, they finished their course. They finished their race. Okay, and, 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 and that's what it's about. You know, finishing. All right, anyone could go out there, not anyone, but you have to be chosen to, you know, to, 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 to by the most high to get this knowledge. All right, but there's a lot of people out there that are chosen, excuse me, that are called, but not chosen. All right, a lot of Jake's out there that that are that are prophesying in the wrong doctrine. So that, you know they're not really they're not maybe they, maybe they are chosen. Is this the Most High to open their minds up to the real prophecies of the the M O T B? All right, which is the C H I B. I'll just spell it out. I ain't gonna say it. But it's certain things like that 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 won't allow a Jake out there that that's maybe sincere to finish. You have to open your eyes. The Most High has to open your eyes. You all right to to see the 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 because to see these things. All right, because every Jake can't get him. All right, got one last scripture I want to get in the apocrypha. Um, because that's what's going. To, hey, the doctrine is a big deal. All right, that's what separates a lot of a lot of camps. All right, that may that's going to separate those that finish the race and those that don't. Because if you don't have that, if you don't have the the, the, the these major prophecies down, you really don't got shit. Because you're leading your congregation your congregation astray. You're leading them down the path of destruction. Whether you may know the laws and the name and everything, you got to know these prophecies. Okay, that's that's the difference between, like I said, finishing and not finishing. And you want to finish. Okay, you want to, you know, you want to be one of those arrayed uh, in white robes in the kingdom. Or you don't want to be born into the kingdom. You want to come into the kingdom on them sh on the, on those chariots, on them ships. All right, this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 2 and verse, I'm going to start at the whole chapter go. I'm going to start at verse 41 though. Um, uh... Yeah, I started 41. The number of children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hollowed, may be holy, may be separate. That elect, all right, which is was preordained before the, uh, before the earth was made, all right, uh, um, uh, um, are those that are going to finish, okay? Verse 42, I, and Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praise the Lord with songs. That's that great multitude, all right, out of every nation, Israelite out of every nation, all right, that, that are going to be, um, uh, 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 that are chosen, okay? In the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. I was shy. That's your how was shy. He sort of set crowns on the elect's heads. All right. So I asked the angel and I said, sir, what are these? He answered unto me, these are, be they that have put off the mortal clothing and have put on the immortal clothing and confess the name of the Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Now they are crowned and receive palms. That's finishing the race. That like, you know, you know, in the Olympics, when they um you get your gold medal, that's the gold medal ceremony. That's the medal ceremony. But it ain't no second and third place in this it's, it's only for first place and that's the elect the elect is going to receive those crowns and those palms verse 46 then i said unto the angel what what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands he answered and said unto me it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world that then began then began i greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the lord then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. All right, this is, they told Ezra to prophesy this. Tell this to the people. All right, and that's what the men of the Lord are doing. Okay, so hey, finish your race. All right, yeah, fi finish this. Finish your, your, this work. All right, because we, hey, we're close to the finish line. All right, and this ain't the time to be backing out and, and, and you know, so, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. 
unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hashem, 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 Hashem. Until next time, I say Shalom.